Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and I think recently now I've been in a fixing mood to where uh, I've been going on reverb and I've been buying things and attempting to fix it, and as for my last video where on the Elisa sample pad all I needed to change was the power cable or the power adapter for this one, before making this purchase... I had to make sure I can look up the problem and was able to fix it. Now, what I have here is the PreSonus Studio Live 1602. Uh, this is the 2010s model, as you can see from the Firewire logo. The newer ones have the USB logo. And I found this on Reverb for a really, really cheap price. And seller told me. Channels 1 are non-functional. The unit powers on as normal. Everything functions. Channels 13, 14, 15, and 16 work fine. And all four auxes, master, everything works fine. Except for the inputs of every channel. Now, of course, I looked up the problem and to see if it was fixable before I made this purchase. So, what is the probable cause? Well, in the market for this board, after its use, many people came into... A couple problems of, of channels 1 through 12 not powering on. The problem caused is the regulator. Now, I don't know the what kind of regulator it is, but um, basically, as I take it apart and show you, all it needs is two, is two of the L7805 5-volt regulators. The black is the heat sink. And then this right here is the regulator. So my main concern is how hard is it to fix it. And it's not that hard. The only tedious thing you have to do is take off all these screws and just be a good solder at best. Just to replace it. And from the videos I've seen, it has worked. So let me go ahead and show you with this unit turning on. it is if I choose locate every fader works I'm just go through every fader all the oxes and then the master left right so to even show that only 13 and 14 work what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my sure 58 on every channel I'm gonna turn these up so there's at least some gain I already know 1 through 12 won't work except for 15 and 16 put these at unity put these faders at unity and what I have here is on the mono output I have it out to my uh, auto my alto uh, speaker 8 inch and basically even if I should just plug it in let me press the input option it should show all um, any signal coming in from the input so to show this actually works plug it in to 16 as you can see all right Here's 13, 14. Okay. Now here's 12, 11, 12. Okay. Nothing there. Now to prove that these work and it's just not the signal. Check one, two. Okay, now I have signal coming out. Check one, two, check one, two. Check and mic one, two, check one, two. Probably not the appropriate game, but check and mic one, two, check one, two. Check mark one two, check and one two, check and one two. Now for eleven and twelve. Check mark one two, check and one two, check one two. Let me just go ahead and go through every channel while show. One for good measure. Check mark one two, check and one two. Check check one two. And I have the input meter on. 
So as you can see, channels 1 through 12 are not giving me any signal. I'm going to turn these back down. Okay, now as I said before, there is a fix. So now, we're going to go ahead and get to it. Uh, there's some electrical parts I don't know the name of, but from the videos that I saw, all I have to do is change two of the regulators that are on there into these. And I'll show the process on my other camera, and let's just get this going. taking off those two regulators right there all it is is a positive ground and negative that's it just two and these are not supplying enough power to these uh, analog inputs so this is where this is going to replace it it's going to be sitting on it just like that get a better view so there's that heat sink I believe there's like a thermal pad right there put that on slide it up I think thermal paste will work just as good there's that set that on it just like that then you get your screw Figure out a way to start it, just like that. Oh. Yeah. Phillips. And then you tighten it up. Before you get it tight, make sure this is straight, so. And also, if you take this on the road, it won't come off and just like that.
all right so I got it uh, I got it together it took a while with the soldering I didn't realize I had to be really uh, precise with it but uh, uh, I, I let the mixer turn on I, I put everything back I plugged everything back in uh, mind the noise outside it's pretty windy and I guess rainy right now but um, I got it plugged in and let's see if this worked so um, what I'll do is I'll put the faders at unity okay I have not tried this yet but to, to make it better I'm gonna start on channel 15 16 that's where we've been starting um, I have the knobs off. Let me. All right, here we go. Check, check, check. Mic one, two. Check the mic one, two. Check it one, two. Check, check, check. Mic one, two. I guess for now we can just really see if there's signal coming in because if you're seeing that out of the input, that means it worked. All right, so let's try it for the next one. Check, check. Mic one, two. Okay, that usually means it works. Check, 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 one, two. All right, now for the moment of truth. This is 11 and 12. If you see a pop, that means it works. Oh. Check, 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 one, two. Huh, I guess it works. Check the mic, one, two. Check it, one, two. Check, 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 back one, two. I have that one turned up just a little bit more by accident. Check, 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 back one, two. Huh, all right, let me go through each one. I'm just going to trust it's going to work, so what I'm going to do is... So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through, plug it in, and if we see signal, we're good. All right. Test the mic one, two. Check it one, two. Check, check, check mic one, two. Check it one, two. All right. I guess that works. You can't really see it. Let me get my light. There's what I've done right there. You can't really see it, but those are the new uh, five volt regulators. So, all right. Well, I guess another fix was done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link everything that I use in the description down below. Yeah. If uh, if anything happens to this board, if I ever use it, I will re-record it, and I'll see if this what if this is what actually works but by the looks of it i think we're good so but uh that should be everything and i guess i'll talk to you guys next time